Hello, my name is Anthony Perry with Flux Pumps USA, and today we're going to be reviewing the individual components of our flux batching system. So here we have a six inch adapter if you were to be pumping out of a 275 or a 300 gallon tote. Um, and here we have the uh, compression gland, which will thread in and secure the pump. Spiral banding tape, which secures the control cable to any length of hose that you are using. Our flux hand nozzle with a remote start stop button. Um, this is the communication cable uh, that will be used in the spiral banding tape. We're using a Anderson Nagale um, turbine meter. A flowback stop valve which keeps the discharge line full and allows for better accuracy. Uh, we're using a 457 EL motor. We have um, various tri-clamps and, and gaskets, depending on how many connections you have. Our uh, pigtail adapter, which allows uh, or which powers the motor from the batch controller. If the batch controller itself. And then any of the flux pumps can be paired with the system. So now we'll go and set the system up and we'll do an example of calibrating uh, the batch controller for the meter. Okay, so now we're going to go through and set the system up. So we'll start with the pump. I know we're not using a, a drum or a tote, so we're using our attachment clamp, to, which can be used for open top drums. And then we'll install our flowback stop valve. And this is just a one-way check valve, so it'll allow flow through, and then the spring closes it and keeps anything from flowing back into the pump or into the drum. Now we will install the turbine meter and you can see the direction of flow is indicated on the housing. So it's going to flow this way. Connect our length of hose.
on the far side of the hose. We'll connect our hand nozzle. Install the motor on top of the pump. And then plug in our cables. The remote start stop is connected to this small one here. There is an alignment pin, so just set those up properly and then secure with the cap screw. Plug the meter input in. is going to be this bottom one here. Also has an alignment pin. And then secure with the cap. connector will be for the motor. And then all we need to do is plug the motor into the controller and we're ready to calibrate the meter. All right, so now that we have everything set up, we're going to go through the calibration of the actual uh, control box and, and meter. So first we're going to go to this BC1 setting, that's batch control 1, so we're going to hit this red button, that selects which one we want to use, there's 10 different options, use these arrows to select through those. We're going to set 1, so we're going to hit the red button one more time, and now we are actually in adjusting what we want our batch size to be, so we're going to use 15. So you just navigate through this menu using the up and down arrows, and then once you have it set to what you're looking for, you're going to hit the green button to confirm. Okay, so now that we have our batch amount set, we'll put our bucket onto the scale. Make sure your scale is zeroed out, and then also just run a quick test batch to um, fill your discharge line and then clear uh, the value on the meter. So we'll start fresh with a full hose. We'll run our first test batch. So now we measured 15.95 pounds. So we're going to use this number to calculate our new calibration constant. And we're going to do that by multiplying the old calibration factor by the value measured and then dividing by the value shown on the meter. So we have 15.95 pounds measured. We have 15 shown on the scale. So we're going to multiply by 15.95 and then divide by 15. 
And then we'll get our new calibration factor entered into the meter. I'm going to go down to the calibration setting. Select we're using the red button that we want to set that calibration factor number one. And then set one more time with the red button and we'll go through and change our factor to 0 0.038. 9616 and hit the green button to confirm and now we will go through and run our second test so now we've got our new calibration factor in and we will run our second test Okay, so 14.6. So we're going to do the same thing. Value measured, 14.6. And divide by 15. So times 4.6 equals divide by 15. New factor is point zero three seven nine two two six. the green button to confirm. Now we'll repeat that process a few more times. So we'll go ahead and run our third test. All right, 14.8 times 14.8 equals divided by 15. Point zero three seven four one six nine. And we'll get that new value entered. Empty our bucket and do that all over again. All right, so we'll run one more test batch. It should be our final one and see where we're at.
Okay, so we're at 14.9, so 0 0.1 off of our goal. So we're within the range of the meter, um, you know, plus or minus 1%. And you can empty our bucket, but that is the full calibration of our flux batch controller with an Anderson Nagelay uh, turbine meter.